what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video we are back with another installment of the 10 year rebuilds and today we got a team that's just honestly killing it right now the boston celtics today we're going to be doing a 10 year boston celtics realistic rebuild before we get into today's video make sure you guys drop a like on this one of course subscribe if you're new to the channel as always greatly appreciated the goal is to get to 30,000 subs before the end of this year and we only have a month left as we are in the month of december these 10-year rebuilds take a long time to record so it would be greatly appreciated your guys support which you guys have shown a lot lately so thank you guys for that but the celtics man i am recording this on friday and they do play tonight so if something crazy happens i guess and i'm not going to be talking about it but the boston celtics Jason Tatum, honestly, if it keeps going this way, probably going to win MVP this season, and I'm very happy for him. We're going to be doing a 10-year rebuild with the Celtics. This is going to be different from other 10-year re 10 rebuilds that I've done because obviously with other 10-year rebuilds, I'm kind of like managing and trying to get better and get better. But, I mean, this team is already so damn good. It's just a matter of me trying to keep everybody around, make minimal moves here and there. But it's still going to be a lot of fun to do to try to keep the Celtics team as a dynasty. So, Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Robert Williams are three guys I immediately know I want to keep for the foreseeable future and keep those three guys as my core pieces. So we're going to celebrate this season. We're going to see how the rest of the season goes. And obviously, we're going to go for 10 years, see how many championships we can win. And hopefully, by the end of things, this is a good video. At the end of the season, Luka does steal the MVP from Tatum. But, I mean, eventually, I think Jason Tatum's going to win it. We went 6-3 and 19, as we know. He does make all be a first team, and that's all that really matters. First in the Eastern Conference, I think that's how it will finish in real life as long as nothing crazy happens. But 34 from Tatum, 27. 16 from Brogdon, Gallinari got healthy. I don't know when he's supposed to be healthy for the Celtics, but nine, eight and a half, eight, and then seven uh, from Al Horford, who got extended for like two years, 10 million per season. So not too shabby. You could probably use him in that last year to make a trade. So now in round one, we do get Cleveland. So that's kind of a scary matchup right away with Donovan Mitchell, Mobley, Jarrett Allen, and uh, Garland. That's going to be our enemy throughout this 10-year rebuild because those guys do really good over there, but we'll see. Hopefully we can eliminate them here and not get upset in the first round. So we do... Uh, yeah, that's a great start to this 10-year rebuild. 10-year rebuild starts off with us losing in six to the Cleveland Cavaliers as we're the uh, lose to an AFC. That's a great way. I mean, it's your typical 2K start. And then you got Cleveland getting eliminated in round two. So it's all good, though. Bulls going to win the championship. Clearly, I have to get better here. The Celtics aren't good enough, I guess. You see this, man? This could be you right here. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best way to get more out of the game you're watching. You're picking overs or unders on your favorite players that you love watching each and every day. Let me show you how it works. Prize Picks is available on mobile or desktop, and you basically get to choose two to five players, and you choose over or under on their props that they give you. You pretty much have every sport you can imagine on here. Uh, but let's say I wanted to go ahead and put a bet on Mitchell and Joel Embiid. I want to go more and more on them. If I get it right, I three times my money. Let's say I want to go up to five players, which is the most you can go up to. You can go uh, more or more on all of them. And that's going to 10 times your money. I started with $100 and so far I'm up to 500. I've been having a ton of fun over here on prize picks. If you want to go ahead and sign up, link is down in the description below. Use code CRUSHBULLS or imagine deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. If you deposit $100, you get 200 to work with. Thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring today's video. Back to the rebuild. The staff is officially taken care of, and all we really need to do now, I don't think we have a draft. Oh, okay, we have a couple of second round picks here. So let's jump in. We kind of have a late second in a way where that first, no, in our, I said, or I meant early second. So I think I'm going to take Amari Bailey here with this pick as our first round pick in the second round. Or for, I said that completely wrong, but you get what I'm saying. And you got like Sid, who I think I'm going to take care of as well. So those are two guys that can develop for us. Maybe become trade bait later on. Scoot goes number one to the Wizards, which is interesting. I guess the Wizards didn't want Victor Webb and Yama. But I'm going to take Amari Bailey and Sid and sign them both here. Player options. Gallinari declines. Peyton Pritchard were accepting. Qualifying offers. Grant Williams, I think, is somebody I definitely want to bring back to Boston. J.D. Davidson. If he leaves, no big deal. And then you got like some other guys that might be important later or, or probably not that important, but free agency. Grant Williams is the only one I'm really worried about. And then as far as maybe making another trade or another signing, I mean, let's look at our roster right now. Cause we have Brogdon and Smart as the point guards. We have uh, Derek White, Jalen Brown, which is great. We have to sign Jalen Brown next year. Uh, Jason Tatum and then Sam. You got uh, no power for right now, which is going to be Grant Williams once we get him back and Al Horford. So. We definitely, uh, you know, have room to make a trade eventually. You got Brogdon and Smart on uh, multiple year contracts. Derek White's uh, expiring is going to be very, very interesting once we get to his point where we can maybe flip him for something. So, and Al Horford just tried to retire on us. So, I'm not really sure. 
I mean, I should maybe be looking to trade him right now, but I probably ain't going to. We'll, we'll see. We'll feel it out. But I'm going to wait for Grant Williams because I think that's the only thing I really want to do is sign Grant Williams back. Maybe we could, like I said, trade away Al Horford for something. But I think the biggest thing is just uh, not Gallinari, but getting Grant Williams back. I think a four-year deal worth 11 million over a year I th or four years. I think that's great. So next thing, uh, if we needed like another player, you got like George's name, Sarich, you know, Yuta Watanabe or however you say his damn name and Najee Marshall, uh, who is here, which is also an interesting pickup. And then you got some centers, but honestly, I don't think we need to do too much this off season. I think next off season is where we can really strike. Although it does look like we need a backup forward. So we should probably take care of that here. So like a Joe Ingles, a Derek Jones year, an Otto Porter. Like we can get like Otto Porter for one year. I think that'd be fine. So I'll sign him. But other than that, I think I'm chilling. So Grant Williams are probably starting at the four. Or we could, you know, make it to where Smart and Brogdon are starting together, which I honestly think would be very fun where we put Tatum at the four, Brown at the three. We could do that too. Al Horford goes down like crazy, but it seems like the Celtics prefer to have Smart or not Smart, but Brogdon come off the bench, which like I said, is also fine. So we're going to somebody to this next season. Not going to be doing too, anything too crazy. I think next off season is when we're really going to use Derek White's expiring to see if we can get something good for him. Once again on the season, 64 and 18, just another really good year with Jason Tatum making all NBA first team. I mean, we were the first seed last year. And we all know how that went, but thankfully we don't have to deal with the Cavs this time around. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are just that good. They're that, they're just that good, man. There's really nothing to it. So Malcolm Brogdon, Derek White, Grant Williams, Robert Williams, and then Marcus Smart is the rest of the roster all doing all right. Detroit throwing round one. They do have Victor Webb and Yama. So, I mean, we could get ape seated here again, but hopefully not. Somebody current round and we beat them in five. So, thankfully, we don't have to deal with that. We do get the 76ers now, which Celtics, for the most part, have owned the 76ers. So, hopefully, we can continue that here. Somebody current round and we beat them in five. But now we get the team, like I said, that we're going to have issues with. The Cleveland Cavaliers are going to be a good team we have to deal with for years to come. And if we lose here, then it's really going to be an issue where we have to make some kind of trade to elevate ourselves to get better. But game one, we're up one to zero. We're up two to zero. So maybe this time around we have the number. Can we beat them in five? And we do. So we're in the finals and we get uh, the Pelicans. Yeah, so Zion Williamson almost got the Rockets. But Zion and the Pelicans, they're going to be a team that's obviously going to be tough to beat as well. They have Chris Asporzingis and didn't... Or no, they did keep Joe Val. So nice offseason by the Pelicans. They're up one to zero. Are they going to stop us here again? We're just going to get stopped two years in a row. And do we lose in six? We do. So the Cavaliers and the Pelicans, they have been the teams that have stopped us. So we haven't won a championship yet, which is honestly unacceptable. So we need to do something to change that because it's just not good at all. We can't out, uh, can't override Al Horford's retirement another year, which kind of sucks. I would love to use that salary in a trade, but all good. We got to do something this offseason to put this team over the top because it's, it's unacceptable at this point. So I have an idea in mind that I want to try to execute if I can pull it off. We're jumping in at pick number 29 to see if we can make something happen here. This guy that we're drafting here is probably going to be using a trade, to be honest with you. So Bronny James, I guess, is going to be the guy we select here in this draft. So welcome to the team, Bronny James. Don't know how good he's going to be uh, overall-wise, but he is a 69 overall in the draft. But it doesn't matter too much. Player options, we're going to accept Sam. We have Amari Bailey and we have Sid, who are going to probably be using a trade as well. D.D. Davidson, Peyton Pritchard, I'll extend my qualifying offers to them. But the biggest thing that I want to try to do is pull off a sign and trade. And whether it's with Anthony Davis or uh, my biggest guy I was kind of going for was a Siakam. I think a Siakam at the four could be really very nice for us. But A.D. also would be a dream scenario. But first and foremost, we have to extend Jalen Brown. That's the biggest thing here. No questions asked. Jalen Brown has to be resigned, And we do have a five-year deal on him bringing him back. So that is the biggest thing. We needed to take care of. And I'm going to keep a tab on, like I said, AD and Siakam. I want to go big here. Go big or go home is what they say. You also have like Kawhi Leonard. But now that AD and Siakam have been signed, which I'm assuming they were signed back to their, you know, prospective teams. I'm going to try. So Raptors resign them to a five-year deal. Maybe we do a sign and trade with the Raptors. AD goes back to the Lakers. So it looks like Siakam will be a little bit cheaper. So I am going to try to make something happen. I don't know if I can pull either of them off, but we are going to give it a shot. So getting Siakam is probably not going to be possible unless we are willing to offer because Bronny James and Mario Bailey, none of these guys have trade value. So unless we were trading Marcus Smart away or Brogdon, I don't think the Raptors are going to do this. I can offer Brogdon in this trade and see if that would change anything. I'll see if it does. So Derek White... 2025 first round pick, Malcolm Brogdon, and a 2026 first. I don't know if that changes their mind, and that doesn't. So Siakam is not going to be gettable. I thought that would be amazing if we could pull it off, but we can't. So 
Not Siakam, but I still do want to try for a four. And I think another guy I would kind of like who's been available lately is John Collins. John Collins is on a one-year deal. So Derek White, maybe we don't have to give up this much, but Derek White a first and a couple young players for John Collins. They do accept. So just like that, I think John Collins is uh, awesome. And we kept Grant Williams out of it. So we get a brand new upgrade at the power forward spot. So I like that a lot for us. John Collins, Grant Williams, we still have Robert Williams. So ideally, I think John Collins fits perfectly next to Robert Williams. Grant Williams backing him up. It's, it's beautiful. It's perfect. So now you have Smart, Brogdon, and then we could slide things over if we need to, but I don't think we're going to really have to do that. So Brogdon and Smart, we have Bronny James who could develop as well. So now we just need to sign a couple bench pieces and we should be golden, which we still have like Peyton Pritchard available, uh, which actually would probably give him a deal to bring him back to Boston because we kind of need a backup uh, somewhere. And then I think we need a backup forward. It would be kind of cool to bring back Gordon Hayward, but he's probably going to go down overall like crazy. So we don't need O'Shea Brissett, but like an auto porter or maybe there's a, there's a Cork Maz, Lamar Stevens. Uh, maybe I go Gordon Hayward for one year, bring him off the bench, I guess. Just kind of a guy to have, at least for now. We can maybe sign him, sign someone next year. I think the biggest thing is going to be moving Marcus Smart to shooting guard. And uh, he'll go up like crazy. Or he goes up one, not crazy. But now you have a rotation of Brogdon Pritchard, Joe Brown, Marcus Smart, Tatum, Gordon Hayward, Collins, Grant Williams, and then Robert Williams. I love it. So the addition of John Collins, obviously I try to go big with, you know, Siakam or um ad that wasn't going to work out so now gordon hayward goes down but the rest of everybody else is progressing and obviously we brought in john collins to try to help us win a championship so let's see if that can happen tatum once again just stacking up on all nba first teams we do have to extend them past this season so that's going to be tough but man do i want to win a championship super badly for the celtics team we have choked the first two seasons we got to get it done here john collins brings us starting lineup to a whole nother elevation the bench is pretty damn good as well we got a win here, man. We really do. 33 and a half, 28. You had 16, 15, 9, and then 8, 6, you know, 6.8. But Robert Williams is only here to, you know, rebound and block shots. So here we go. First round, get the Raptors. We try to get Siakam. That didn't work out. They have Ubre, Barnes, OG, Fred and Vliet. The usual Raptors squad. Hopefully we beat them. We beat them in four. Good start. But now we get Detroit, which Detroit has Webb and Yama. So they're only going to keep getting better. So my current round against them and we lose or beat them in six. I thought for sure we we're about to lose that. So I was ready to say we lose, but now we get Cleveland. So Cleveland, another ultimate test here, but up one to zero. They even it up. Let's beat them to one through two, two. Can we uh, please not lose? Man, the first three years, Cleveland and New Orleans just giving us all the problems in the world. The Cavaliers going to win the championship. That is just so tough. First three years, don't get any, just dumb, nothing, man. So we had no draft pick in that draft, so it didn't really matter. But the two guys that are big free agents for us are John Collins and Jason Tatum. I'm hoping John Collins is not asking for too much money, but we'll see. Eventually, the money is going to catch up to us. because So there is a world where Marcus Smart is not going to be on this roster next year. Isn't Brogdon free agent as well? So, like, it's going to be very, very tough to bring back everybody at this point. Uh, so, which is why it was so important that he won a championship last year. The Cavaliers are start trying to steal Jason Tatum from me. Absolutely not. We can't even beat you right now to begin with. Imagine I gave them Jason Tatum. No thanks. I do want John Collins, and I would like Brogdon back as well. If I can pull all that off, I will. I'm going to give John Collins a deal. He doesn't want too much money, and we have cap space. So, going to sign both of them. And if we can bring back Brogdon on top of that, I think we do it. Um, let's see. You got, yeah. So Brogdon, I think you bring him back on top of it. That's going to put us in a very, very steep cap situation. We'll give him a three-year deal. That way we're not committed to him that long. I don't know how much he'll go down on overall eventually, but we're bringing him back. And I think we're going to need a small forward probably because we're not going to have Gordon Hayward anymore. So just check that out real quick. Yeah. So small forward or center. Brandon Clark, honestly, is going to be a pretty good signing for us. So I'm going to bring him in and that will be our off season, man. So it's just a matter of Hoping and praying. I don't know if the Cavaliers lost Evan Mobley or anything like that. Maybe Mitchell left them. Hopefully. Hopefully they're not a problem next year. We got to win a championship. Once again, first seed in the Eastern Conference. That has been that every single year. That has not been the issue. We have not won one championship with this core. It's so disappointing that we've lost every year. One thing I did decide to do this time around is I switch up the rotation. This time we're starting Brighton and Smart together. And we have Tatum and Brown starting at the forward spot. So Collins became the sixth man instead of Smart, basically. So we kind of switched that up. I don't know if that's going to change anything, but we're kind of hoping it does. So we'll see. As far as Cleveland is concerned, they did lose Donovan Mitchell, but they replaced him with the Devin Vassell, which is actually not bad at all. He averaged 13, but it's not Donovan Mitchell. So maybe that works in our favor. They do have Bull Bull, though. So Chicago, round one. Got Ron Holland, Levine, and Lonzo in the backcourt. 
Just please don't lose in round one. That's all I asked for. And we do beat them in four. Good start. Now I get the New York Knicks. They have RJ. They have Scotty Barnes, which is a nice signing for them. Hopefully beat them as well. We beat them in six. I was a little scared there, scared there but now we get Detroit. So Detroit's going to start becoming an issue, and I knew they would. They have Kawhi now. They have an upgraded Webb and Yama. They have Kate Cunningham. Man, would I hate to lose in the East Conference Finals, but I'm feeling like we might. So many current round, and we beat them in four. Thank you very much. Got to the finals. We got the Grizzlies now. So it feels like every time I click similar current round, it works a lot better than when I go game by game. So maybe we click similar current round and we get our first championship. Let's see. And yes, we did. Finally got our first championship of the video. Jace Tatum finally gets a ring. That was a long time coming. Should have been done way earlier, but our first championship is officially done. Seth Curry retires at Celtics, so he also got a championship. I didn't even know he was on the team. But this offseason probably won't be too much. The biggest decision we have to make is Marcus Smart, where we're getting into the situation where our cap space is becoming more and more, like, not there. So we have a lot of money spent on this roster. But if you win championships, it's worth it, right? So we're happy with that. The Warriors are going to face that eventually as well, as we all know. But on draft night, we do have the 30th overall pick. The biggest thing you can do as a contender is continue to draft young players and develop them so that's what we'll do here we have uh jackson leonard but honestly i would take theo strickland as a young developmental player hopefully he can become something for us 64 overall nothing uh, i mean do we even sign him at that point i'm not even gonna sign him. player options ronnie james will accept we're gonna keep him as a developmental guy for us jd davidson actually has been kind of a guy that's developing for us as well and then free agency we got uh smart and then i don't know if there's anyone else oh robert williams as well so yeah, if you had to choose between Robert Williams or Marcus Smart as a Celtics fan, who are you choosing if you're watching this still anyway? I'm choosing Robert Williams, to be honest with you. I, I mean, I, if I can keep Smart as well, I will. But man, it is getting too close for comfort here. I think I hate to do it, but I think our money is going to catch up to us. And realistically speaking, I think I got to let Smart go, which sounds crazy to do, but I think I'm going to do it, man. So I'm going to move Brown back to shooting guard, Tatum back to small forward. And that is going to be kind of your, so we kept Brogdon. So now Brown, Tatum, Grant Williams, Collins, and then, Grant, you know, Clark and Robert Williams. So we need a four and we need a shooting guard, which I'm assuming I could probably sign smart back, but man, we're going to get hard capped here very soon. So I'm just going to go cheaper here and I'm just going to grab Corey Kispert on two years, I guess. So it's been nice having you Marcus smart, but I don't want to get hard capped. I want to be as realistically as I can. So um, that is just going to be a tough decision to make there. But eventually it's a decision, you know, Boston would have to make. So hopefully with smart gone, we're not going to lose anything crazy. We definitely lose a lot to the heart and soul of this team. Maybe I should have traded Brogdon and kept smart. Who knows? But he'll be a good player wherever he goes. But the biggest thing is, was keeping these three throughout the video. And then Collins actually probably becomes a part of that as well. So Brogdon eventually... Probably going to trade him next year because he's getting up there in age and he'll be an expiring contract next year. So probably going to be trading Brogdon next year, but hopefully this year we can go win a championship. So even with Smart gone, we are still getting very good records at 68 and 14. So that's good to see. Obviously, we're looking to maybe go back to back here. We've been the first seed throughout the whole video that helps when you have a guy like Jason Tatum and Brown leading the way. Like I said, these two guys are going to be the foundation of our team going forward. I think the big move we can make this offseason is probably trading Malcolm Brogdon for maybe a younger point guard to keep this team somewhat young, but we'll see. We get uh, Charlotte in round one. They have LaMelo Ball. We can go out there and get LaMelo Ball. They also have Ben Simmons. Somebody current round against Charlotte. And like I said, somebody current round seems to work better than somebody through games. So now we get the Wizards who have Scoot and they have Bradley Beal. They passed on, obviously, Victor Webanyama, but they do have Nasir Cunningham. Somebody current round against them. And we lose in seven, so... We do lose. We don't go back to back here. At least we won one championship, but it does suck to lose the Wizards. Now you have the Thunder and the Wizards and the Thunder going to win the championship. Imagine we could bring Shea into this team. That would be crazy, but probably not going to happen. Dame retires the Blazer. You love to see it. You know, Harden retiring. Steph retires the Brooklyn Net. I hate to see that, but lottery time. Let's see where we're at. But like I said, man, I think we're going to try to make a trade involving Malcolm Brogdon to try to get younger at the point guard position. I'm going to try to get Bones Highland from the Denver Nuggets. I don't know what he's doing nowadays, but I feel like Bones Highland could be like the perfect point guard to bring this team. 15 and 5, good efficiency. He's going to be a lot younger than Malcolm Brogdon. He's 26 years old while Brogdon's, what is it, 34 at this point. So, going to try to make this happen here. I'm going to be offering my first round pick here on draft night and a first round pick in 2030 to try to get Bones Highland. And just like that, they do agree. So, that's the big move I wanted to make to get younger at the point guard position and we accomplished our goal. So I love that. And now the team just, you know, kind of gets a little bit younger day by day because Smart and Brogdon going to keep, uh, or Brogdon was a little bit older. And then obviously we don't have Smart anymore, which kind of sucks. But free agency, 
Um, I think we're good in free agency. You got Grant Williams, which, I mean, he's wanting a bag. But, I mean, maybe we bring him back. Let's see. So we have uh, Bronny James, who's been developing behind everybody. Corey Kispert signed him. Uh, we don't have a forward. So, yeah, I think we do bring back Grant Williams and kind of roll with the punches. And then I saw, obviously, Pritchard as well. I don't know how much money he's asking for, but... Uh, or J.D. Davidson, which J.D. Davidson, uh, not too bad. So I'm going to sign both Grant Williams. And actually, maybe can't really sign Grant Williams. He's asking for a lot of money. May have to go a little bit cheaper here. A Matisse Thibel. You also have Kobe. Or that's shooting guards. My bad. Uh, Karis Avert, McDaniels, uh, Julian Strother, Grant Williams, Terry Taylor, Chris Boucher, Isaiah Todd. Give me Isaiah Todd, who's just going to be a little bit cheaper. Maybe he can turn into something for us. So... Getting even cheaper here. I'm not bringing back Grant Williams. He's asked for a little too much money. And it's just getting to the point where we have to, you know, save in certain spots. So I do like the addition of Highland here. We're losing Grant Williams. We lost Smart. Like I said, the biggest thing for me was keeping Robert Williams, Tatum, and Brown throughout the video. And so far, we have accomplished that. So once again, Tatum is still winning all NBA first team. Still averaging like 30 on the season. So shout out to him. But we finally don't get the first in the East. This time we slipped down to the third seed so maybe losing some of our role players has definitely hurt us but 31 27 18 from highland 14 from collins eight from davidson seven and a half from isaiah todd uh six and then eight from robert williams with two blocks and then five from Corey kispert so we'll see man i guess chicago in round one they have ron holland luca is now in chicago which and ben simmons and vucevic so definitely an interesting lineup in chicago hopefully we don't get eliminated in round one and we are going to beat them in five so that's a good start but now we get detroit in round two, they have Webb and Yama, as we know. Kawhi Leonard's down to an 81 overall. They no longer have Jaden Ivey, so that's kind of cool, I guess. But so many current round are down two to one. We even it up. We win game five, or I guess game six. We win. Yeah, there we go. Boom. And now we're back in the East Conference Finals. This time we get the Cavaliers. So back to our you know usual programming or whatever. So now we hopefully can beat them. They're up one to zero. Even it up. We're up two to one. Could get back to the finals. I think we can. Beat them in six. Let's go. We're back in the finals. And now we get the Clippers of the Thunder. And it is going to be the Clippers, which is actually very interesting that the Clippers and the Thunder are matched up against each other because as we know. And this Clippers roster, Nkongwu and Benedict Mathurin led the way along with Nick Smith Jr. So shout out to them. But I think I got to beat them here. I don't think we should lose this one. So I'm in current round. And we are going to beat them in six for our second championship of the video. Huge W. Nothing really crazy to do this offseason. Just a matter of getting to 10 years. So let's just run it back again. 65 and 17 on the year i mean we've kind of been around 60 wins the whole video like i said man this was going to be a little bit different than me trying to build a team this was already kind of there for me so it was just a matter of adding a couple pieces here and there uh but i'm trying to do this with all 30 teams i know it's going to take me a while because like i said i can't do a 10-year rebuild every day they just take a while to do but i had some time for the celtics one i think they're going to mostly drop on wednesdays and saturdays probably uh definitely saturdays because that's when i have a ton of time on my hands but Round one, I'm going to get the Chicago Bulls. So we beat them last year. They still have Luka. They no longer have Ben Simmons, though. And instead, they have Jonathan Kamenga's up to an 88 overall. So somebody current around against Chicago, and we beat them in five. So we take care of them. Now we get the Magic. We have Dylan Harper, Suggs, Tyler, Paolo Bonchero still there. Amaro, or however you say his name. Uh, we are going to beat them in four. Now for Brooklyn. I'm actually very curious to see where Brooklyn is nowadays because Kevin Durant retired. Kyrie Irving's not there anymore, of course. So who do the Nets have? They have uh, Donovan Mitchell, they have Marcus Johnson, Dyson Daniels. Dyson Daniels is a beast in the simulation. So, But it's not a team I'm that concerned about. I think we can beat this team, but who knows? So many current round, and we beat them in six. Back to the finals, and we get the Rockets. They have Ian Jackson, Jalen Green, Armstrong, Tari Eason's up to an 87. Shout out to Tari Eason. Williams, Derek Lively. They have really good depth, so we might lose here. So many current round, and we lose in seven. Heartbreaker, heartbreaker. But I think we have one more year to run. We lose in seven. So like I said, man, not a whole lot to do. Let's just go ahead and run it back our last season. And let's see if we can just end off on a high note. All right, ladies and gentlemen, final season here to see if we can win one last championship before we call it good. We do get the third seed in the East and we play the Atlanta Hawks. So they got Mikhail Bridges. Uh, they had no longer Trey Young, but they have DeJounte Murray still. Kessler, Davion Mitchell. They have a good roster. I don't know if we beat them. So many current round against Atlanta, and we do lose in five to end off the video. So, honestly, we didn't get as many championships if I would, as I would have wanted in this video, but we did get some, so I guess I can't complain too much, and the Thunder go on to win a championship. So, that will be how the video ends. I hope you boys enjoyed this one. 10-year Celtics rebuild down the drain. Like I said, not as many you know championships as I would have wanted, but I'll take it. 
This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.